We now support Cubes OS as an alternative operating system for customers who have strict security needs. In this video, we'll show you some of the basics and why you might want to switch to Cubes OS. We are one of the few platforms that consistently works well with Cubes OS. If you need top of the line security in use by some of the industry's biggest names, Cubes OS provides extra defenses at the cost of some convenience. The way Cubes OS protects its users is called security by compartmentalization. This approach focuses on limiting the damage an attacker could do by separating your activities and their related files into separate virtual machines. A virtual machine acts like its own separate computer with its own files and processes. One virtual machine or VM cannot access the files of another VM. With this isolation, you can assign each VM a certain level of trust based on the level of risk the VM presents. For instance, you may create an untrusted VM that you use for generic unauthenticated web browsing. You then may have a separate, more trusted VM that is used to access only your bank. You may decide to create a third, highly trusted VM with no network access at all. If you browse to a malicious website with an untrusted web browser, the attacker won't have access to your banking credentials or your personal files since they're stored on those different VMs. Of course, updates do a good job at protecting most of us from everyday malware. But for Cubes OS, having a recently patched and updated computer is just the first line of defense. To get Cubes OS, select the OS at checkout when you buy your Librem 14 and have it shipped to your door. If you want to install Cubes OS on your current Librem 14, download the OEM ISO image and use MultiWriter to write the ISO to an empty USB drive. Once the USB has finished copying, reboot and select the USB you just created. Warning, once you boot Cubes OS OEM install disk, this will automatically erase any data on the existing hard disk. The Librem 14 will boot up and install the base OS without you needing to enter anything. Once the laptop powers down, remove the USB and start your new OS. Press enter without entering a password for now. Next, set up your username and disk encryption password. Under Cubes OS, the defaults will work just fine. Press Finish Configuration to complete the install. Before we get into how Cubes OS enables users to defend their data, we need to understand which workflows come with risks and which don't. Using software to edit your own files is a good example of a workflow that can be trusted. You can open LibreOffice's writer and type away without the need for a network connection at all. This means that you're running code that is trusted and updated by the OS's repository frequently. You don't have to worry nearly as much that a bad actor is doing something you don't want on your computer if you're only interacting with your own files. Applications like a local video editor or trusted applications that don't need a network connection are VMs that you can tag with a more trusted color. Red means completely untrusted and the colors go down in the spectrum to violet and finally black, which means ultimately trusted. Your average VM will probably be colored somewhere between yellow and green. Instead of a single home directory that contains all your personal files on your computer, each of these VMs have their own home directory and set of files. The DOM0 VM has the highest level of privilege and manages your desktop and other VMs. And in general, you don't open applications or access files directly from it. Instead, you split up your personal files across different VMs depending on your workflow. So for instance, you might have all your documents together and all your video editing files and applications together, but separate from your VMs and applications that might carry more risk. Risky tasks that need internet access, like browsing the web, can be run in separate VMs that don't have your valuable data. For tasks like online banking, it's best to create its own VM that's used only for that task. That way, you're much less likely to expose your banking logins or other private data to sketchy sites while ordinarily browsing the web in another VM. If your browser gets infected and taken over, they can only take the data that's in that app's VM, which, if you're doing things right, will be minimal or outright nothing. If you really don't trust a task, disposable VMs are here to save the day. They are perfect for things like opening up untrusted links in an email. Instead of risking your email VM, open a file or link in a disposable VM instead. This will create a new temporary VM free from all your personal files just for this one task. Once you close the window, the VM and all the data in the VM get destroyed. Cubes OS makes it possible to divide up your risky workflows from your personal data and your trusted tasks. So even if the worst happens and you do end up with malware, you still get to keep your data safe in its own cube. 
Order your Labrum 14 and have it shipped with Cubes OS pre-installed.